Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Woods and I'd like to welcome you to this first video on how to use GameMaker 7. Um, GameMaker 7 is a free to download program and it enables you to make really quite complex games if you get good at it. Um, but just to get started it is very simple and these series of videos are going to help you to do that. First of all, a game consists of three main objects. These are sprites, objects and rooms. A sprite is just a little picture that you can then attach to objects. For example, if you made a sprite that looked like a soldier, you could attach that to an object that was your hero and your hero would look like a soldier. You then place your hero in a room and things start to happen. Okay, let's get started then. First thing to do is make a sprite. So I'm going to click on make a sprite and up pops this sprite properties box and it's called sprite zero. So I'm going to replace that with something that makes sense. This is going to be the sprite for my hero, so it's sp underscore hero. Now, I could, if I wanted to, draw my sprite myself, and I've done that in the past, and it's good fun. However, I've got some sprites I've already made, and I'm going to load them up. You can save sprites from sprite websites and use those. It really doesn't matter. So let's go to load sprite, and straight away we can see I've got lots of sprites in here that I've used. Here's my hero, a little soldier guy. Here he is there, look, pixel by pixel. Um, OK, and then just click OK. And up here now I've got my sprite little soldier. Next I'm going to make an object that's going to be my hero. I'm going to make that object look like my sprite by attaching the sprite to it. Object. I'm going to call it ob underscore hero. And you can see at the moment sprite has no sprite and sprite hero is now the sprite that is attached to the object let's get rid of that j ob hero there we are um, and we say ok and now we've got a, an object that is looking like a hero the last thing we need is rooms so click on the room button and it comes out a bit big for my little screen today so I'm just going to shrink that down a bit here we are um, you can see this room is a fixed size um, and it's got this grid on which helps you to lay things out and I'm just gonna select my object hero and pop him in I could put lots of heroes in but that wouldn't make a lot of sense because games only have one hero right okay so there we are my hero is looking like a hero and he's in a room so let's save that room and let's play the game by clicking on this green arrow it does a little bit of saving and then it does a little bit of loading and eventually here we are just move it over a bit there's my game um nothing happening at the moment of course i can't make him move i can't shoot that gun i can't do anything but he's there he's in a room he exists okay next step we need to make this hero move so let's double click the hero again and you can see over here we've got events and actions and all these buttons well, what we need to do is need to add some events and then tell the computer what to do when that event happens so we click on add event and there are lots of things here all we need at the moment is keyboard left so when somebody presses the left key on the keyboard something has to happen an action has to happen so when we click left we want to start moving in a direction left at speed 5 okay all right, so if I press the left key, he will start moving in a left direction. Add event, keyboard, right. Add event, right, five, okay. So I've got left and right done. Let's do up and down as well. Keyboard, up, start moving, up, five, okay. And add event, keyboard, down, start moving, down, speed 5 okay and one more thing if we let go of all the keys we want him to stop add event keyboard no key start moving nowhere speed 0 okay okay play the game bit of saving bit of loading move it up a bit now fingers crossed if 
I press the right button, he moves right and left and down and up. Great. So there we are. We've got a game that works. Um, in the next video, we're going to add some walls so that we can start to create an actual uh, maze for the man to run through. And then the video after that, we'll have some bad guys. Um, and on we will go. Um, have a go. It's really quite simple and quite good fun. See you in the next video.